Decent Reviews by Cam. Today's review, Heart Tools Shop Vac. Now, I previously reviewed some Heart Tools, my lawnmower video. Check it out after this one, of course. But this I'm excited about. I made a mess in my garage, and now I need to fix it. I have wood dust, wood chips everywhere from building shelves. Anyway, it's time to open it up probably going to be a short one because I just need to get the stuff clean but you'll still get the idea stay tuned Just kidding, I'm a trained professional. We're gonna edit that out? Okay, anyway, we got the Heart Tools shop vac right here. It's wet and dry vac, stainless steel. You don't see that very often. That's already a bonus point in my eyes. Right off the bat, after I set the box down, I really like to analyze it. We gotta figure out what it's all about, what it's gonna do for us, and how we're gonna get there. So I sat down and I studied each section of the box and what's included. You see the utility nozzle, the extension wands, the crevice tool, the floor brush, the wet filter, incredible. The studying's complete, so now I take out my unboxing knife. Slash, slash again, slash one more time, rip it open. Boom, boom, flap, one, flap, two. I pull out the objects, looking perplexed. I don't know what they are exactly yet. Purely wheels, set them down. Floor brush, set it down. Wand, set it down. Get it out of the box, get it out of the box. After a minor struggle with taking it out of the box, I got it out and it was a thing of beauty. Here are my first initial thoughts. All right, first step, you gotta access what's inside, so you hit these little latches on the side, push them in, and it pops right off. Good technology. Now definitely don't underestimate that first step. There's a lot of goodies inside, and you gotta get them all out, because if you don't, well, your shop vac probably won't work. Now call yourself Saint Nick, and check your list twice, and make sure all the components that come with the shop vac are there. Next, assemble the wheels. Make sure the number on the wheel and the shop vac itself align, one with one, and number two with number two. After setting that second wheel down, don't get too excited. You're not done yet. You gotta place two more smaller wheels on, and then you have to screw them in with what they call a screwdriver. There are six screws total. One for each of the wheels, that's four, and then there's two for the handle, which you'll see later. And now place that handle on, as I promised in the previous scene. Screw it in though. Next, put your push handle in, it snaps right in. Here's the upside of the shop vac. All the attachments lock in place so they don't easily come apart. Just insert and turn, locked in. Now our production team failed to get footage of the filter bag insulation, but you wanna go ahead and attach it because it helps filter things. Anyway, here's me now demonstrating how to attach one of the attachments. Simply clicks in. Take a closer look. It's very satisfying when you hear the click. Now I'd advise to do the old pull test. Make sure that thing is locked and dialed in and ready to go. And it is. Unless of course you pull out the extension wands and those turn into a lightsaber and you start frantically swinging it around in the studio looking for a fight. And then you realize there's no one to fight so you're just dancing around looking crazy. The extension wand really is crazy in all seriousness. It's even great enough to reach nine foot ceilings. Now they taught me in shop vac school, if it can reach the ceiling, you can reach the floor. All right, ready for first time use. Everything's set up. A couple things I want to point out. We got these nice holders for all the attachments. Great touch, stays put, that's good. Next, let's point out this other positive here. 
this cord has a nice Velcro strap to keep it nice and tidy. All right, first thing we're gonna do is pick up some sawdust. And we're gonna just use the plain as is nozzle. And then we're gonna try the crevice attachment. Right off the bat, I noticed this shop vac has extreme suction power. Easily picks up the sawdust. I'm impressed. As you just saw in our first test, the Hart shop vac has some good power behind it. It easily picked up the sawdust. Now we're going to try the info commercial method, where you have the straight rows of dirt or debris or fruit loops. You guys know what I'm talking about. We're going to see how it sucks the vertical lines. Let's try it. And we need to finish quickly, to be honest. I'm profusely sweating. It's about 110 degrees in this garage. The sawdust and vertical lines was no match for this six horsepower shop vac by heart. No matter what camera angle I showed you, it worked. All right, next you're probably wondering, how does a utility attachment work on the carpet? Well, let's find out. Now likely everyone at home during this part of the test is saying, Cam, this is not sucking up anything on the carpet. Well, I believe, you know, that's just the carpet's fault, to be honest. This carpet is almost like Velcro. The lines in it make it hard for anything to get sucked up. But as you can see, it's lifting the carpet. It has plenty of suction, even trying it without the attachment, plenty of suction, but to no avail, the carpet sucks. But if you want to clean off your miter saw or any other saw equipment, works really well. Or the floor of your garage. Easily gets the stuff up. That's what I'm talking about. Now my last test, I wanted some redemption. So I went with these vinyl floor mats that also have lines going through it. But as you see, this thing works pretty well. It still sucks up all the debris that's on here. To understand my joy of this shop vac, the heart one, you have to understand where I came from. I came from one that literally just called itself shop vac. It didn't really suck up anything. I could probably suck up more dirt through a straw than that shop vac could. Well, that about wraps it up for this heart shop vac review. We unboxed it, we assembled it, and we put it through a couple tests. And my opinion, it gets a thumbs up. It's sleek, compact, powerful, and affordable. What more can you ask? Anyway, hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye.